Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Today, quick MD Minute just presented at a major endocrinology, that's a hormone conference in New Orleans by presenters from Mass General in Boston. It's looking at the link between a hormone that we make in our body called oxytocin and the link between that and the reward centers of the brain that get activated and make people overeat. So there's an area of the brain called the ventral tegmental area, the VTA, and it's got circuitry connected to it that gets activated when people start to overeat and they get a release of a neurotransmitter called dopamine. That is a very addictive, it's a re it makes you want to have more of it. It's actually, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is released when you take lots of drugs. So the same thing can happen when you're eating too much and overeating and you're almost having an addictive response. That's because this circuitry is getting activated and wired from the ventral tegmental area all over the brain. So what they did in this study is they took 10 overweight men, uh, BMI was 28 and they were 31 years old, and what they did is they gave every single one of them either a placebo, and it was a randomized controlled placebo trial, they gave them intranasal oxytocin, which is a hormone of the brain made in men and women that's actually connected uh, to oxytocin is needed for giving birth, but there's lots of reasons why people have oxytocin, and this may be another interesting reason. And they interest, inter, put them intranasally, 24 units, either that or the placebo, and then they put them all into a functional MRI machine. And what they found was that if you had taken the intranasal 24 units of oxytocin one time, all the circuitry that was in your brain connected to the reward center and overeating really dampened down. It seemed to control and reduce that overeating desire. And compared to the people who were injecting uh, or rather intranasally using a placebo, the researchers realized that it's a small study. They're now doing a much larger study funded um, by government funding, 60 patients going on for eight weeks doing intranasal oxytocin three times a day before meals and at bedtime to see if that really does curb overeating. But my take on this is that although it hasn't hit prime time, this could be a wonderful, wonderful, easy treatment if it works for the people who just really love food and start to overeat and they get more excited because all that dopamine is starting to increase in the brain and making them very addictive. We can stop that potentially with oxytocin. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.